Let's go now to the contributing economics editor at the Australian newspaper, Judith Sloan. Judith, uh, talk to me about this. This is outrageous. Not just that they want to get more control of our super, but also they want to use it to impose their sort of woke ESG agenda through the major super funds. Uh, look, I think that's absolutely right, Chris, and uh, I think it was very uh, uh, pertinent of you to be uh, replaying those comments about uh, their uh, announcement that they wouldn't be changing uh, superannuation or, or changing the tax arrangements, and I think that might come back to haunt them. But as you say, uh, it was sort of in two parts, uh, the threats. One was that, uh, you know, we're coming after the superannuation, particularly in terms of... Um, uh, removing what they say, and you're absolutely right to query the definition of tax concession and also the estimates, by the way, I think are very dubious. But secondly, this idea that somehow the super funds will be, in a sense, uh, sort of um, dragooned into some sort of societal purpose and that they'll be doing the bidding of, of the government in terms of providing uh, socially beneficial uh, things like social housing and green energy initiatives and stuff. That is really scary stuff. Well, that's why I call it theft, and I don't use a strong term like that lightly, because the point is what well, we have to give compulsory super savings, so it's our money that we have to put into these funds, and then instead, and that's on the condition that those funds are managed to deliver us the best return in our retirement. That doesn't mean managing Labor's agenda to do social housing or renewable energy. We want, surely, the best return. We deserve the best return. Well, this isn't going to be ending a superannuation war. It's actually opening up a couple of new fronts, to tell you the truth, <coughs> because I think they won't be changing the sole purpose of superannuation, which is to maximise the retirement incomes of the members, right? Uh, but at the same time, they seem to be now trying to impose other functions on the superannuation um, funds, as I said, almost as an arm of government. So I think that is a major front and a major dispute, disputed area. But I think the other thing is, and, and you know, I think your um, audience probably really appreciate this, that it's just outright retrospectivity to yep. be altering a lot of these rules. People have accumulated superannuation quite legitimately on the basis of the rules and they now, it seems, they're about to be told that, no, 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 you've accumulated too much superannuation we don't like the tax rates that are being imposed, we're going to change them. And I think, um, I mean, I'm surprised in a way because I think that is a major political fight and that really was, in, in a sense, the message of uh, the shorten era that he sort of took it to people who I think were not always on very high income earners, high incomes, but they are often self-funded retirees, and they feel under attack. And if that I think re-emerges, then the Albanese government could pay a very high political price.